Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. After their breakup, Tyler Cameron and former Bachelor Hannah Brown are still friendly, but he isn't holding out hope for an invitation to Brown's impending nuptials. Cameron, 31, said in an exclusive interview to Us Weekly on Saturday, June 8 at CMA Fest, No, and I mean that with all due respect to her and her man, I'm not gonna get an invite. I hope not to receive an invitation. It ought to center on them. It shouldn't be about anyone else, he said. For two really unique people, it is a momentous day, and their wedding will be incredible. I'm not required to be present. I would have to be there, supporting them from the sidelines, just like I did all those years ago in Jupiter, Florida. The 29-year-old Cameron and Brown first connected on season 15 of The Bachelorette when he lost out to Jed Wyatt in the final. Soon after the show's premiere, 27-year-old Wyatt and Brown broke up. Later, after they were placed under quarantine together in Florida, during the coronavirus pandemic lockdown, she gave rise to speculations of a reconciliation with Cameron. Following Cameron's quarantine crew farewell, Brown moved on with Adam Woolard. After becoming engaged in August 2023, they have gradually begun to plan their wedding. We're definitely just getting started, Brown had previously told us in February. We have a wedding planner, but that is all we have. It's been a pretty hectic season, and we've really been concentrating on our relationship and getting ready for marriage rather than the wedding. But the planning for the wedding will undoubtedly pick up speed shortly. Tate Madden, who made a brief appearance on Cameron's Going Home reality TV series, is reportedly his new partner. Cameron has also moved on. On Saturday, however, he exercised alone when he attended Celsius Fitness at Fest. Cameron told us, this is going to be incredible. You know, I feel a little intimidated. When we brought Erin up there, she was really militaristic. She is powerful. She says, we're going to do this. All right, but it's going to be a lot, I think. I'll be chasing after them, getting involved, working out with them, encouraging and pushing them. This is, without exaggeration, my absolute favorite Suckers thing to do. Bachelorette have trapped. also loved seeing Hannah Brown with Tyler Cameron. There have been numerous times when everyone allowed. These two may reconnect and date again. Still, that no way happened. Commodity always sounded to keep them piecemeal. After a lot of work, the two were musketeers again and really clicked when his mama tragically passed away. Now that they're musketeers again, numerous wonder if Tyler will attend her marriage if an assignation is extended. Keep reading to find out what Tyler had to say. Will Tyler Cameron attend Hannah's marriage? Bachelor Hannah Brown and Tyler Cameron are close musketeers who were formerly suckers. The two Noe managed to find their way back to each other, however, and both have moved on. In fact, Hannah is engaged to Adam Woolard, and the two are beginning to plan their marriage. So, will Tyler attend if the assignation is extended to him? You must weekly caught up with Tyler at the CMA Fest where he revealed the tea on his plans in regard to his partner's marriage day. First of all, he really does not suppose he'll get an invite to the event. He said, no, and I mean that with all due respect to her and her man, I am not gonna get an invite. I hope I do not get an invite. It should be about them. Tyler went on to say, it shouldn't be about anyone differently. It's a special day for two special people and they are gonna have an amazing marriage. I do need to be there. I would need to be there, cheering him on from the sidelines like way back in Jupiter, Florida. Hannah Brown has not blabbed on when she and Adam are planning to tie the knot. Still, in a recent interview, she did say they're beginning to plan their big day. They then rushed into it as she says they're preparing for a marriage and not a marriage. Hannah said, 
We have a marriage diary, but that's about it, especially been a veritably busy season. And we've really been just fastening on our relationship and preparing for our marriage. Not a marriage, but the marriage planning will surely ramp up then soon. Tyler Cameron and Hannah Brown lately reconnected again when he asked her to be a part of his new show. She agreed and he thinks it went impeccably and that Hannah was the right bone for the job. What do you suppose about Tyler hoping he doesn't Three get invited to Victoria Hannah's Victoria Fuller compactly dated. The former bachelor blabbed on what it was like running into his partner at Nick Vile's marriage. Keep reading to see how he felt about the run heft. Chris Soles and Victoria Fuller love in the time of COVID. Victoria Fuller was a competitor on Peter Weber's season of The Bachelor. While they made a connection, it wasn't strong enough to carry her through the season. Still, she did catch the eye of someone differently in Bachelor Nation season 19 Bachelor at Chris Soles. He reportedly slid into her DMs after season 24 had finished raising. Victoria and Chris started dating. They indeed quarantined together in his home state of Iowa. Still, Farmer Chris, as suckers call him, and Victoria had resolve up by September 2020. She went on to get engaged to Johnny DeFilippo during season 8 of Bachelor in Paradise. Still, it didn't last long, and she also dated Greg Grippo until before this time. Chris Solstitious on reuniting with X at marriage, still, you are bound to run into an partner. If you go to a Bachelor Nation marriage, that's what happened to Victoria Fuller and Chris Soles last month. They both attended Nick Vile's marriage to Natalie Joy. Victoria indeed served as a bridesmaid. Suckers originally didn't know that Chris Soles was in attendance until he was spotted in the background of a videotape Joe O'Mabel posted on social media. Still, Chris was a guest on the nearly notorious podcast this week and revealed that he knew she'd be there. But he didn't let that stop him from joining the festivity. In fact, it sounds like the two were on good terms. It was good to see her. I didn't know that it's weird presently in this world that we live in, he said about the encounter. Chris continued, I've got enough spouses that's when maturity is at a position where I can handle that. She's a great person and I am happy for what she's doing. And so, yes, I still watch a ton about her. Still, is there a chance they could give their relationship another try? If he still cares about her, could they get back together? Chris Soles confessed to the podcast host that reconnecting with Victoria Fuller crossed his mind. She preliminarily explained their split as them being on different runners in life. According to Us Weekly, she said she wasn't moving to Yoa anytime soon. But that was four times a gone. Could she be ready now? Chris Souls doesn't feel interested in giving their relationship another pass, but not for a bad reason. He called her a truly good friend and said he wants to keep it that way. Do you suppose they should consider dating again, or are they more off as musketeers? Partake your studies in the commentary. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.